happy Saturday, Gael. I hope you guys had a great week. Uh, this is Miss Lang bringing you the next book for today. Um, last time I read you guys a book about my favorite animal, the donkey. And so this week I am going to read you a story about another animal I like, little kitties. They're so cute. So it says it's called The Pizza Cat by Claudia Denny Vernakis, illustrated by Jesse Zerner. So let's get started. Tony looked behind the trash cans at Rose's Pizza. Where are you, kitty? I know you're here somewhere. Tony spotted a bit of fluff and reached behind an old crate to pull out the scrawniest little kitten. Tony picked up the skinny kitten and dashed into the kitchen of his grandmother's restaurant. Tony's mother looked up from the pizza dough she was making. Get that poor thing some milk! I can see the cat's bones, she said. Tony poured some milk into a bowl and showed it to the kitten, but the kitten just sat there. Go on, kitty, Tony urged. Milk is good for you. The little kitten sniffed the milk and turned away. She wouldn't even taste it. Mama, what should I do now? Tony asked. The kitten doesn't like milk. Most cats like milk. That's kind of a surprise. Tony's father was busy grating pizza cheese and laughed. She's a picky little thing, isn't she? Milk isn't good enough for that cat. Try some cream, Tony. Tony filled the bowl this time with thick, delicious cream. The little cat took one lick but turned away again. She didn't like cream either. Grandma Rose took a hot pizza out of the big black oven. Maybe she isn't thirsty. Why don't you give her some cat food? Tony grinned. He ran across the street to Herb's Market for a can of cat food. He raced back and opened the tiny can with Grandma's big can opener. He dumped the food onto the little plate and offered it to the stubborn cat. Still, the kitten would not eat it. She turned from the cat food and walked away, her tail in the air. Uncle Dino was scrubbing pots. Tony, that kitten must be sick. You should throw her back out into the alley. Don't waste your time on such a picky cat. Tony bent down to pet the skinny kitten. Please, please eat, little one, he begged. Hey, cats like fish. Tony, Tony suddenly remembered. Grandma, give me a can of tuna fish. Even the tuna fish didn't work. The scrawny little kitten just looked at Tony and meowed in a sad little voice. Poor Tony was getting desperate. Aunt Bella pushed open the big swinging door and walked into the kitchen. She carried a tray piled high with dirty dishes. Say, who's this little thing? She pointed at the kitten. Before Tony could explain, the little cat made a wild scramble. It dashed through the swinging door and streaked into the restaurant. Tony and his family ran after the cat. They hadn't gone far when they heard a terrible scream. Uh-oh, that cat's going to get himself in trouble. Tony, Mama, Dad, Grandma Rose, Uncle Dino, and Aunt Bella froze. They stood with their eyes wide and their mouths open. Because there, on top of a customer's table, standing right in the middle of a large pepperoni pizza, was the kitten. Grandma Rose grabbed the kitten, apologized to the customer, and ordered him a new pizza, free of charge. The little kitty must like pepperoni pizza. Back in the kitchen, she handed Tony the kitten and the customer's old pizza. At least you know what to feed the cat, she said, trying to frown. She likes my pizza. Tony grinned. Oh, Grandma, everybody in the whole world likes your pizza. 
Tony put the cat on the floor and watched her hungrily gobble up the pizza. I have the perfect name for my cat, Tony announced. I am going to call her Pepperoni. Every day from then on, Pepperoni came to the restaurant kitchen with Tony. And every day, Uncle Dino or Mama or Dad or Aunt Bella would give her some food. Picky Pepperoni still wouldn't eat cat food or tuna. She never drank milk or cream. But she grew up to be a very, very big cat. That's because she had plenty of Grandma Rose's pizza. Every day after her dinner, Pepperoni would take a stroll around the restaurant, but she knew not but she knew now not to jump on those tables, and the customers liked to see her. Here comes that giant cat, they would say. Rose, where did you find such a big cat? That's a chubby kitty. <laughs> Soon it was hard to tell who was more famous, Grandma Rosa's restaurant or Pepperoni the Pizza Cat. The end. Oh my goodness, a cat that eats pizza. Who would have ever guessed that? I love pizza too. My favorite is sausage pizza. I bet you a lot of your favorites are cheese pizza. I hope you like the story of the pizza cat. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and weekend and have a great week. Bye guys.